welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, I want to show you how to use the calculator function in Minitab. So here is an example of sales before applying Six Sigma. And after Six Sigma was applied, there were some improvement in the management, procurement and other related things uh, that affected the sales. We can see that the sales for 15 different kinds of product has uh, improved after applying the Six Sigma. Now we want to find out the difference in the sales before and after applying the Six Sigma. For that, we go to the calc and click the calculator. Now in the space, store result in a variable. We want a new variable called difference. So we will get a new column called difference in the highlighted region. The expression region is an area where we the formula of the difference is sales after applying six sigma minus sales before applying six sigma. You can click these options over here or you can highlight sales after applying select click minus and select sales before applying and click on the select this region contains the other functions we can use as we do in the excel for now we want to find one with the difference so we click the ok after we click ok we get the following information in the second example, suppose the cost price per unit of the fifteen products is given in the column C1 and the total number of units that was purchased is given in the column number C2. We want to find out the total cost of each of these products in the column C3. For that, we go to the calc, click the calculator. We want to store result in a new variable called total cost. The expression is cost per unit times total number of units and then we click OK. So this is the total cost of each of the 15 products. Now suppose in this column C4 we want to find out the total sum of all these costs. For that you go to the calc and then you click the calculator. Suppose you want to store in a variable called sum, you go here and find the function called sum. You click on the sum and the expression sum number is uh, produced. The number is highlighted. Instead of the number, we want to find the sum of the total cost. So we select the total cost or we highlight the total cost and click the select. So sum of total cost is generated over here and we click on the OK. So in the column C4, the sum of all the individual cost is generated. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.